This video is sponsored by Adam and Eve, who have been such a dream and so easy to work with. It's even more exciting that I finally have my own code, which is such a staple in YouTuber culture. I recently hit 500,000 subscribers and thank all of you for that, but another step in my YouTuber world is finally being able to tell people to use code HONEST, which is just such a cool thing to say, but as you would have thought, Adam and Eve is hooking you guys up with discount code HONEST which will provide 50% off one item plus free shipping in the US plus Canada. Some exclusions may apply. They have a 90 day no hassle return, so it's extremely convenient and they have 24 seven customer service, which makes everything less complicated. Pleasure to the people. Now on to the video. Ashley Tisdale has always been an underrated Disney act. She was never exactly the main character, but that doesn't take away from her significance from being in the show. Her roles were always very important to the show, just not the main focus. The sweet life of Zack and Cody wouldn't have been the same without Maddie Fitzpatrick, when she took on a humble, smart, nice girl role who was a bit less fortunate than the other characters, which would be polar opposite from her most famous character, Sharpay Evans, who was a glitzy, melodramatic diva who was exceptionally talented, just not a very nice person. I think the polar opposites between those two characters showed that Ashley Tisdale had range and is a very capable actress. In recent years, Sharpay Evans, who was initially the villain of the High School Musical franchise, has gained praise for being this independent woman, solely focused on being successful and being a bit of a diva to get there. People also know how fascinating her character was and how she kept the movies interesting. Like almost every cast member in High School Musical, this was one of the first few steps in Ashley Tisdale's career where she got to boldly showcase her musical talents and doing so quite well, being featured on more than a handful of the tracks on every soundtrack and the soundtracks proved to be extremely successful. The first High School Musical soundtrack sold over 6 million copies worldwide, the second soundtrack sold over 5 million copies worldwide, and the last soundtrack proved to be very successful as well, selling over 3 million copies. So naturally, it would be normal for record labels to see the success that these individuals had as a group and try to capitalize off of it and push them as solo stars. Prior to finishing off the High School Musical series, she was offered a record deal from Warner Brothers Records, and in 2007, her debut album Headstrong was released. The album was compared to the works of Britney Spears and Gwen Stefani, and did showcase another side of Ashley. The album spawned a few moderate hits such as He Said, She Said, and Not Like That. However, the album itself wasn't as big as expected, but still did relatively well, selling 500,000 copies. Two years later, in 2009, she returned to music with her second album, Guilty Pleasure, which was compared to the likes of Avril Lavigne and Ashley Simpson, taking on a much more darker and punk rock edge in her teen pop debut. Although she tried to put forth her best effort with this album, it only peaked at number 12 on the Billboard Hot 200, selling less than 30,000 copies in its first week. She eventually split from Warner Brothers, and up until that point, that was all we would hear from Ashley Tisdale's music career until her role as Sharpay Evans was reprised with 2011's Sharpay's Fabulous Adventure, which was a commercial success focused on Sharpay's dream career and musical abilities. Now, as much praise as Sharpay has gotten in recent history, I think that may have been the main factor in Ashley Tisdale's music career underperforming. Ashley Tisdale is a pretty capable actress, and she played the hell out of Sharpay Evans, and it sort of encompassed her public perception. She was the villain, and the character was so popular that it sort of became hard for people to separate Ashley Tisdale from Sharpay Evans. She was expected to identify with her character, and keep in mind, she was doing High School Musical and her solo albums as Ashley Tisdale, the person she really is, within close proximity of each other. Her first album in the second High School Musical movie were released the same exact year. Her second album was released closely after the last High School Musical movie, so it was sort of like this back and forth between Ashley and Sharpay. Maybe she could have pulled it off if her character wasn't so associated with music, but she was, and I'm pretty sure that was hard to juggle. Keeping up a music career through a character which was highly successful, but also trying to make strides as your own artist. Also, the target demographic was very young, and even though a villain is good for a story, I'm not sure younger kids during that period of time would actively want to support a villain as she was portrayed to be. She apparently even played her character so well her castmate thought she was like that in real life. She revealed in 2019 that her and Lucas Gabriel, the person who played her brother in High School Musical, didn't get along at first. Lucas and I didn't get along at first because when we were giving screen testings, I was giving him line readings, and it's not an actor thing to do, she goes on to say. 
And I do think I became a lot like the character and I think he thought I was really like Sharpay. And it wasn't until we wrapped that he was like, oh, you're not that person. So she was very believable, which I felt ultimately could have affected her public perception. My second explanation would be that she wasn't signed to Disney. Disney gives their artists major pushes. Ashley wasn't pushed as hard as Vanessa Hudgens, Miley Cyrus, or Selena Gomez. I feel like her label may have expected her success from High School Musical to be enough to propel her solo career, but when you're introducing a new version of yourself to the world, that's not always the case. My last explanation would be that Ashley is a very humble person. She honestly doesn't seem hungry for fame. She's one of the few Disney stars who have kept it all together throughout the years and appears to be in a great place. In May of 2019, she did return to music with her third album titled Symptoms Independently Released, which largely discusses her battle with mental health. The album is her best and most sincere work, where I feel you can finally grasp Ashley Tisdale as an artist. Not Sharpay, she found her voice. But nonetheless, she's done very well for herself. It's one of the few unproblematic child stars who've never been involved in anything wild. In Sharpay's words, it appears that she's kept all things fabulous.